in your classroom, whether you're in preschool through, you know, high school, you are doing several activities to promote fluency. If we just look at preschool and the early grades between pre-kindergarten and second and third grade, there are many, many things in your classroom that you do to promote fluency. Like for example, morning meaning, when you read over the morning message. It is a literacy activity that promotes um, reading and literacy development decoding skills. And it's also an activity that promotes, you know, um, the proper reading something, a text, uh, with the proper speed, accuracy, intonation, inflection, ex expression, right? So every time you do morning message and read it with a group, that's a shared reading activity. You are promoting uh, reading fluency. Or here's some other ones too. Above me is some type of reader's theater or, or oral reading presentation. Anytime you do any type of reader's theater or any type of oral reading presentation, you're building fluency. Um, or, or how about this right here? These students are, are playing or are, are reading something. They're doing some type of uh, partner reading. Okay, anytime you do any type of partner reading or any type of activity where you're reading out loud to a partner, some type of uh, read aloud, you're building your reading fluency. So there's a whole bunch of ways to build reading fluency that you do on an everyday basis. These are just a few. Morning meeting, reading theater, partner work. These are all different ways in which you could promote that, it's, that student's ability to read words with the proper speed, accuracy, and expression. And we're going to look at some of these case studies now. Let's take a look. Thank you.